part two of lessons that we've learned in our 10 years of marriage, my husband actually covered a lot. And in what he said, it reminded me of something that my eldest brother said to me years ago. Three of the main issues in marriage generally are around finance, communication and sex. Finance, communication and sex. We've struggled in all three of these areas and had to work on and working on all three of these areas. So that's one of the main things I would keep in mind. Um, that's definitely something that we've learned in marriage that those core areas need to be on point. Um, one of the other things that I've learned in marriage is that it's important for me to show respect to my husband and appreciate him as a person and not try and force him into the person that I think he should be right now and accept him for who he is. I need to accept the fact that I'm on a journey and he's on a journey and he may be strong in certain areas where I'm weak. I may be strong in certain areas where he is weak, but it's important for me to show grace and accept him for who he is. Because at the end of the day, we didn't marry projects. We married this person. So we need to accept them for who they are and work with them. And also prayer is powerful. Sometimes, you know, I've been a nag. I've got on him. Oh, you need to do this or you need to do that or you're not doing this or that. But I realize once I really pray and give things to God, God works the changes in us. God softens our heart. Another thing that I realized is the importance of serving your husband, right? I remember early on in our marriage, it used to burn a hole through my soul just to bring him his food. Now, I'm not saying that you have to bring him his food, but if there are little ways that you can find to serve your husband, like ironing his clothes, um, giving him food and all of these. I can just hear the women now saying, pick me. You know, nowadays they, they love to say that pick me thing, innit? They love the pick me thing. I sound like it, innit? Yeah. But yeah, pick me. I'm happy to be picked, right? But that's important. Like, just finding ways to serve your husband because you know what? He also finds ways to serve me. It's not a one-way street. And when we do these things, it, it um, helps to your character it helps you to be more humble as a person humility is important in marriage there's an lng white quote i've been doing a series on this channel um called um homemaking 101 tips from adventist home check that out in the playlist right and one of the quotes that um, a friend told me lng white says i don't know if it's in adventist home because i haven't reached there um again yet or another book but she says something like if only five minutes of pride were laid aside a lot of arguments a lot of a lot of couples basically would be able to work through their issues. Five minutes, five minutes of pride. So I'm telling you, work on how you can serve others because I'm, I was coming into this as a middle child. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm no, sorry, not as a middle child. You're the big child. I, I was coming into this as the youngest. So as a younger child, you're used to being served. Like King had grew up thinking of someone else behind him. I grew up just thinking of me. So another thing I've had to work on is being thoughtful. I, I wasn't very thoughtful in the beginning of our marriage, but over time, by God's grace, I've become more thoughtful as a person. And even King, yeah. King, yeah, even King gave the example about his office. Sometimes I just want to talk to him, but then I have to remember, you know what, he's working. Come, maybe this is not the best time to mention something to him. Maybe come to him another time and say what you need to say. So just being thoughtful of one another another one of the things that i've learned in marriage is what could i say we've mentioned communication finance and all of those things being transparent being transparent about things that you like or don't like what you're struggling with like your husband is not a mind reader so you can't get angry with him or be passive aggressive with him over something <laughs> you're, so, you're too silly didn't we? <laughs> yeah you can't get angry with him about something that you haven't mentioned to him like walking around vex like just expecting him to know and then when he asks you you say okay like as women we tend to do that a lot but just be straightforward learn to communicate what you like and don't like because what will happen is if you don't then years later now you're feeling resentful now you're angry and upset so yeah marriage i mean there's so many different videos that we could do as i said we we spoke about doing this video but today it was unscripted but we're coming in the most humility like we haven't made it we're not there as a couple but these are just some things that we wanted to share and we've been able to see in our marriage and a lot of marriages over the years what works and what doesn't work mm -hmm. so people want to put their mush mouth on things nowadays and say oh submission you're weak you're a pick me or the man and this and that like obviously we know there's 
a whole space in the internet where women want to cuss men and men want to cuss women but we are not each other's enemy that's another thing that we've learned and when we look at the core principles of what god says about gender roles we see that it works uh -huh. when i know my role you know your role we accept each other as equals that works when we are honest with each other that works when we work as a team these are the things that make marriage work when i just want to do my thing and he just wants to do his thing and we want to be full of selfishness things just crash down but i can honestly say after 10 years of marriage we like each other and we love each other each other and it's important to actually like the person who you're married to you know i have faults king has faults but we've learned how to be friends and we accept each other for who we are and we've brought out the worst in each other but we've also brought out the best in each other and we're looking forward to 10 more years and even more decades so please leave your comments about whatever you've learned about marriage and let us know what you've taken from this video as well yeah. all right then bye ladies oh sorry go on babe. I, was, I feel like there needs to be another video like mm. a fuller video thing. yeah yeah you're right because i try and so keep much it more. yeah yeah there's there so is. much more that we can share with you yeah. like a lot more and mm. um we, we're known amongst our friends for being reasonably transparent mm. and it doesn't mean that we just share any and anything about everything but mm. we do share a reasonable amount and i think that part of the fact that we have even made it this far is that with our friends we have shared and i know one mm. of the other advices that I, I probably do want to squeeze into this video is the fact that you know choose people that want to be married mm. that desperately want to serve the lord yeah. and when you need to share with them yeah. and they will give you the advice yeah 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 that you need and they will actually also do the other thing that lots of people say they were going to do but don't do and that's pray so yeah, yeah i would say that you're right because it. if the person is not for marriage they're more likely to say just leave him just leave her in it but if they are for marriage they're more willing to say is separation really what you want is this really what you want or is there anything we can do to help or can we pray into your situation so you're right depending on the perspective that they have towards marriage that will determine the device mm -hmm. sorry the advice that they give you unless they're totally um you know able to like separate, to separate and be yeah, yeah. And objective be objective yeah that's the word that i'm looking for so yeah there will be another video um but i hope you enjoyed this one today i hope you were blessed and encouraged marriage is a beautiful thing even mm -hmm. though i understand we understand why so many people are anti-marriage because mm -hmm. we've grown up and seen a lot of dysfunction dysfunction is so normalized right but marriage is actually a beautiful thing but the key ingredient is jesus christ Amen. yeah and we all need him all right then Bye.